Hello and welcome to the introductory video for Physical Wellbeing 2 ES102. This is the second course in the Physical Wellbeing sequence. Uh, you're going to be participating in uh, a hybrid course this semester, which means that lecture content is going to be on demand uh, through the online classroom. You'll be provided videos much similar to the one that you're watching right now. And uh, we'll be watching those videos to receive the information that's pertinent to the class. You'll also be participating in laboratory exercises, completing uh, 10 different laboratory exercises, again, detailing information about your health and wellness, your personal fitness. Uh, my name is Dr. Robert Bowen, and I can be reached at my email, rbowen at truett.edu, in my office at Miller 205, or by phone at extension 235. Because this is a hybrid class, I understand that there's not going to be much contact with me, uh, especially in a classroom. So if you do need to get a hold of me, if you do need to talk to me, please use one of these mechanisms to, to do so. I'm going to have office hours uh, Monday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., Wednesday from 4 to 5 p.m., and on Thursday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. In addition to the lecture content that you're going to be provided online, you're also going to be participating in uh, an activity. And you've registered either for fitness walking, jogging, or weight training. Fitness walking with Rob Miller, jogging with Rachel Evans, and uh, weight training with Marcus Cobbs. So please attend these. Uh, they meet at the gym. You're going to be in attendance uh, for your chosen activity, uh, gaining participation points and other activity points for the courses. So please plan on attending those on a very routine weekly basis. Uh, again, this is an extension of Physical Wellbeing 1, a class that hopefully many of you have already taken. Uh, hopefully you are in a second different uh, type of lab. If you took fitness walking, for example, last semester, hopefully you're taking jogging or weight training this semester. Uh, what we're going to do this semester is we're going to pick up with the material that we left off with from the textbook. Uh, so chapter 8 is where we left off, which was dealing with nutrition. We're going to pick up with chapter 9, which is weight management. And we'll go through stress, cardiovascular disease and cancer, substance abuse, misuse, sexually transmitted infections, and environmental health before the end of the semester. Uh, again, you have laboratory exercises that you do need to complete. There are 10 of them at 20 points in each, so that's a total of 200 points. And then your participation and attendance in the activity in doing whatever else your instructor in the activity class uh, requi requires of you is going to be an additional 200 points. I do want to note this uh, with the labs and exercises that you will be doing. Uh, again, there is personal information. So um, just to, to read over this, it says all lab assignments should be turned into Dr. Bowen in Miller 205 on the due date specified in the course schedule. These assignments request some personal information. If you are uncomfortable providing any information, black out your answer on the lab and note the question with I am uncomfortable providing this information. The labs are primarily for your benefit, but you do need to provide evidence that you are considering all assigned questions and fully completing each lab. So I'm not interested in, in knowing your current uh, smoking um, habits or cholesterol levels. That's for your information. I want you to be able to consider that as you're, as you're going through and taking uh, inventory of your current uh, lifestyle. Uh, just again, the, the labs that we'll be doing, we're going to reach back to, to Chapter 8, the Nutrition Lab. Lab 8.2 is dedicated to doing a, some food journaling. And I want you to do that to get an idea of how many calories and, and what type of nutrients you're consuming uh, on a daily basis, just to take an inventory on those habits. Uh, and then we're going to begin to apply that towards some strategies for, for weight management with Lab 9.1 and 9.3. Those are going to be due on January 27th. These are the first three labs that I'm, I'm going to need from you. Uh, in just a few weeks. Uh, and again, please get into me by noon on January 27th. I do not accept late work. If you uh, bring your assignment in after noon on the 27th, I put it on a, uh, a late pile and it does not get graded. Um, all the other labs have their due dates. Uh, as you can see here, please abide by those due dates and get everything to me as, as, soon, as, um, as soon as you can uh, prior to that due date. Uh, there is no final exam again for this course uh, and your Last assignments due on May 4th, which is actually dead day. So May 4th by noon, 15.1 uh, will be will be needed will need to be turned in.
Uh, again, just want to remind you of my office hours. So if you need to to swing by, and and, and by the way, for the assignments, you can you can slide the assignments under my office door if I'm if I'm not in my office. Um, you don't have to come to an office hour to turn in any of these assignments, but just to make sure that you're all aware of my office hours in, in case you need anything from me this semester, please stop by when you when you need to. So Monday 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., Wednesday 4 to 5 p.m., and Thursdays 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, also make sure that you are in attendance in your activity labs and your instructors um, will have course requirements for you uh, related to the activity portion. I'm only dealing with the lecture portion. Uh, so when you have questions, come and see me. Whenever you need anything to turn anything in, come and see me. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you, come and see me. We'll pick up with uh, the first lecture. You'll be able to access that video, lecture one, which will be on weight management.